With a large expanse of water covering the planet, there is an extremely large amount of diversity within aquatic wildlife. With water being more dense than air, fish need to have a specialised anatomy to help propel themselves through the water, as well as to keep themselves buoyant and stable through the water column. How do they do this? Fish have more than one type of fin. Each fin has a specific job. These are the pectoral fins. These are located on either side of the animal and they are used for various types of movement, steering, hovering and general manoeuvring of the fish depending on the species. Some fish even use these fins for walking along the seabed. Below the pectoral fins are the pelvic fins. These are used for support and to prevent the fish from becoming unbalanced. The pectoral and pelvic fins act as hydroplanes and control pitch. They prevent the fish from pitching. Pitching is the rotation of a fish about the transverse axis, the anal fins. Again, these are designed for balance. These fins are both paired fins and the following fins are single fins. This fin is called the dorsal fin. This fin comes in all types of shapes and sizes. This fin is mainly designed for stability, allowing the animal to remain balanced and also assist in steering. The caudal fin contributes to thrust. Dorsal fins, along with the ventral fins, keep the fish from rolling. Rolling is the rotation of the fish about the longitudinal axis. Dorsal and anal prevent from yawing. This is the rotation of the fish about the vertical axis. This fin is the caudal fin. It is the tail fin of the animal. It moves from side to side propelling the animal through the water. This fin comes in various shapes. There are five main types of caudal fins. The rounded fin. For both acceleration and manoeuvrability, some species are equipped with these fins for hovering and speed. The larger species of groupers are known for going from extensive hovering to fast speeds in only seconds. Another example of this is the clownfish, as they are found in an area of high water flow. This requires a lot of swimming just for the fish to stay in one area. The truncate fin. This fin is very similar to the rounded fin, because species that possess the truncate fin also live in areas of high water flow, so this requires the same sort of movement. The lunate fin. These allow for great speed over long distances and are most often seen in fish found in the water column, such as the mackerel. A lunate tail fin is a hindrance for bottom dwelling species. The forked fin. The forked fins belong to fish that live in open water areas with high water movement and require continuous movement. An example of this is the squirrel fish. The heterocircle. This is the only asymmetrical fin. The heterocircle fin shows the evolution of the tail fin and the vertebrae extending into the lower lobe of the tail, making it longer improving the downward movement of the animal towards the seafloor. This is compensated by such animals that possess this tail fin by using their pectoral fins by providing additional lift, much like an aircraft landing. Some fish have fins which are specific to their species and, depending on the species, these fins will suit the fish for its very own niche in the environment. Lionfish have fan-like pectoral fins, long separated dorsal spines, 
13 dorsal spines, 10 or 11 dorsal soft rays, 3 anal spines and 6 or 7 anal soft rays. These fins are used for camouflage in various environments and for sexual displays. As well as this, each of the dorsal fins contains lethal venom for defensive purposes. Monkfish have an adapted dorsal fin which allows for maximum predation with minimum effort. The modified fin is split into three parts, the front of which is formed into a fleshy growth called an esca, which is effectively a lure. The fish perceives the esca as a tasty meal. Unfortunately, it's not. Moray eels have specialised fins, which are an elongated dorsal fin, caudal fin and anal fin, which are all connected. The fins stretch the length of the body. These fins are perfect for the eel because it allows the eel to manoeuvre in and out of small spaces. Lump suckers have developed a sucking disc on the underside of their bodies. The disc is formed from pelvic fins. The sucking disc is used for lump suckers to hold themselves onto rocks and sea bottom. This is beneficial for the lump sucker because it can endure currents that other animals cannot. Triggerfish can generate a grinding noise by moving their dorsal spines in their sockets. This sound resonates in the swim bladder. This is to ward predators off and also lure fish to their danger. The tub gurnard is an example of a fish that use their pectoral fins for something other than swimming. They can use these fins to walk across the ocean floor. This helps when catching prey because the majority of their prey lives in the sand. Also, walking across the sea floor will use less energy than swimming. Rays are examples of fish with skeletons which consist mainly of cartilage. They have specialised lobed pectoral fins which spread across the body making it look as if it is a solid structure. In order to swim, they undulate their fins allowing them to pass through the water with ease. These fins also allow for a very tactile way of hunting, putting their whole body over the prey, trapping it with their mouth. The shape and position of the fins makes the fish disc shaped, making it very difficult for any predators to launch a successful attack when swimming. When lying on sand, they will undulate their fins in order to cover their body in sand, forming the perfect camouflage. Looking at the many 
see different things we have seen today, it is easy to see that the ocean is full of strange creatures with unique methods of swimming, camouflage and finding mates, all thanks to the wide variety of things found in all oceanic habitats. From big to small and from common to rare, fins play a major role in the lives of fish. And one thing is for certain, no matter where you look, and no matter how deep you go, you will never find a fish without some form of fin. Thank you for watching.